from Costasi, Thermidor 2. A lobster with claws and flipper, gas pressurized weaponry, 24 volt electric drive, top speeds of 15 miles an hour, semi finalists in the last wars, much improved. Watch out for them. This is no Santa Claus. Roboteers, stand by. Thermidor, look out for them. Much improved, David Harding and Ian Harvey. And prize fighter, Roy Orcott, brother Eddie, and Bill Morse, a friend. The house robots, Sergeant Bash with the long range flamethrower. And getting in closer for the tussle, Shunt, Sax, and Scoop. Three, two, one, activate. So, will the prize fighter come out punching its weight? Oh no! Thermidor immediately flipping the prize fighter Mac 2 over. Tossing 96 kilos through the air there with the CO2 pressurized flipper. Needs to dodge the front flipper of the prize fighter. Didn't. Foolish driving, self rights. Good style from Ian Harvey, who's driving Thermidor. David Harding is the weapons operator and working well in tandem. But again, prize fighter. This is flipping good stuff, isn't it? Good old battle, this. Best of the heat so far. Very close, tenacious, tigerish. There you can see the Thermidor team. Concentration etched on faces. Over they go again. Real close quarters stuff, this. I mentioned prize fighters jab. Thermidor hooked out to the side of the arena. Can't write itself properly to get the flipper working in an aggressive mode. Still mobile now. They're right way up. Strange that Price Fighter didn't go in there for the kill. Should maybe have closed and got more points on the board. Don't know. Thermidor again turned on its side. So Price Fighter for me must be on top here. If it goes to the judges, Thermidor, you spent too much time on your backside, as it were. Up and over. Facing forward, but mobile? Have they expended too much energy in writing themselves? Oh, a lick of flame from Sergeant Bash. We told you it was a long range weapon. Now, Price Fighter goes in for the big KO punch. But for me, Thermidor is about to be counted out. Yes, indeed, the Red Fox in there. And this is another major surprise in this heat. Ian Harvey and David Harding, splendid competitors in the past are to go at the first hurdle. The prize fighter is marching on towards, who knows, heavyweight glory. And Thermidor, not out of the ring, not on the ropes, but in the pit. Cease. From Costasi in Norwich, Thermidor 2. Fighting for a fourth time, once a series at semi finalists. Is he new and improved? Uh, he's had one or two minor little tweaks. Go on, minor little tweaks or. Uh, we can't really tell, you're all like the opposition now. Come on, you can tell me and them. Well, Dave has tweaked the speed controllers a bit, so we should have a bit more power behind us. Right, you're up against Stinger, does that worry you? No, no, we're tossing out the arena before, so we'll certainly try and do that again. Oh, fabulous, I love it when they go out the arena. Has the pneumatic flipper, a Sremex, strong, compact design, but there is a limited gas supply and the flipper can be flipped. From Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams. 13 black there on the left, captain by John Denny, Chompelot, captain by Simon Cook. And on the left, Thermidor 2, David Harding's the captain, and Stinger with Kevin Scott leading his team. So Killalot leads our house robots into the fray in the arena. Whoa. And dead metal. Go on, give us a smile, dead metal. Three, two, one. So, are we watching for 13 black here? Or Thermidor 2? Or the seeded Stinger? Great battle. Chompelot, newcomers. Meanwhile, Stinger top left there, getting involved in early action with Thermidor 2. 
13 black and away, the pit release. Activated very early on, Thermidor 2 spinning very closely. Stingy, you never know what to expect with him, and just on the edge. It is difficult to control, and 13 black nearly took the initiative there on the advantage. And very nearly shoved Stinger down. Chompelot onto one wheel of 13 black, getting a grip. Good weapons work from nine-year-old James Cook at the controls. And I think Thermidor is in trouble. Chompelot keeps up the attack. There you can see their team with Stinger, but Thermidor, they look perplexed. And the ref bot is counting them down and out as immobilised. Funny thing is, I think the weapon's still working. There it is, Thermidor. Wait, so yes, it is. Flipped up dead metal. 13 black. Well controlled. But in the thick of trouble there is Thermidor. There is 13 black now with Chompelot. Now, is Chompelot moving? For me, Thermidor 2 has already been counted out. So whatever you see from that machine now... <laughs> It's irrelevant, it certainly is now. It was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? Yeah, unfortunately so. What happened? What was the damage caused? Uh, yeah. We think the uh, Stinger hit us on the top of the lid. Yeah. Which has bent our motor down. There's the motor. Yeah. Right. And um, it's basically locked all the drives up on one side. So that, so won't, sw that won't go around at all? No. Okay. So basically we're left to man man service. And that's why you were limping so badly. Yeah. Okay, so it is lobster for tea, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Thermidor 2. Right, definitely the brightest robot on the night. Uh, we have given it a quick paint job, yes. What does the damage? Uh, the damage is done by the flipper, which is at the front, which okay. is uh, full pressure CO2. Wait, this is upside down? This moment, is upside down, it? yeah. Are you confident? We're confident of something. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? We're going to lose. No, oh, no, no, no! No, no, no. I mean, we're going to win. Because we're going to win. From Norwich, Thermidor 2. This lobster-shaped robot with a powerful pneumatic flipper, it can lift 2,300 kilos, the weight of an average rhinoceros, has a team of David and Ian, who are best men at each other's wedding, showing that teams that play together stay together. And introducing the house robot for Group Battle 1. It's Shunt keeping order with his titanium-tipped axe. The house robots will only operate in their marked corner zone, don't forget. They won't go looking for a fight, but if anyone enters that arena, they'll get one. Roboteers, stand back. Three, two, one. And So here we go. Riotous robotic wrecking, we hope. And immediately Trumpelot into the CPZ. Thermidor pushing in there as well, but the CPZ is owned by our house robots. And by fire, spike, flip, or pit, or house robot, we will get you. And Trumpelot pushing in on Thermidor 2. And Thermidor 2 vulnerable to attack. If that outer skin is punctured, they're in real trouble. I'm done. And you can hear the big siren of Pulsar like a banshee from Robot Wars. Hell! Coming in there to hit Ironside 3. Slammed away. But I wonder what damage that's caused Pulsar because to me, they're not truly maneuverable. Thermidor 2, though the flipper is working, the flipper's working, but there's no one else at home and they are smoking now. All four team captains are here with me now. Step forward, everyone thinks you're still in, not so fast, Thermidor. <laughs> you're going nowhere, okay?